5.1 angles and their measures. At the end of the lesson, student must be able to convert an angle from degree to radian, radian to degree, and able to find acute angle for any given angles. Without further ado, let's get started. Angle can be measured in degrees or radian. Here are some examples. For right angle, it's equals to 90 degrees or pi over 2 radian. Straight angles equals to 180 degrees or pi radian. One full rotation equals to 360 degrees or 2 pi radian. Let's try example 1. Convert each angle in degrees to radian. So 45 degree multiply with pi over 180 degrees. So 45 cancel out, 180 cancel out will give, will give us 4. Therefore, pi over 4 radian. Easy? Let's try second question. 135 degree. 135 degree times with pi over 180 degree. This can be cancelled out 3, 4. So, answer is 3 pi over 4 radian. How about if we convert backwards, which is from radian to degree? So, pi over 3 radian multiply with 180 degree over pi. So this pi can be cancelled out. Therefore, it gives us 60 degree. Next, B. Negative pi over 10. So negative pi over 10 multiply with 180 degree over pi equals to pi pi cancel out and zero zero so it will give us negative 18 degree let's have a look at the positive and negative angles positive angle is an angle measured in the anti-clockwise direction so this is not something new for you i think you have learned during secondary school right Okay, for first quadrant, all angles are positive. While at the second quadrant, only sine is positive. At the third quadrant, only tangent is positive. While at the fourth quadrant, only cos is positive. Remember as this. But for me, I choose add sugar to coffee. How about for negative angle? Negative angle is rotated clockwise direction. So from here to here, it is 90, negative 90 degree. From here to here is negative 180 degree. While from here to here, it gives us negative 270 degree and one complete rotation clockwise direction will give us negative 360 degree. Okay, I'll discuss further how we are going to use these properties. Example 4. State the following trigonometric ratio in acute angle. What does it mean by acute angle? Acute angle means the theta must be in between a zero until 90 degree. Okay, so now sine 160 degree. First, let's locate where is 160 degree located. So if here to here is 90 degree, so from here to here is 180 degree, 160 is over here. Therefore, 
what we are going to find is the acute angle, the remaining angle here. Therefore, in order to find that, we have to minus 180 degree minus 160 degree. So it will give us 20. So sine 160 is equivalent to sine 20 when we convert the degree to acute angle. But please check. Sine, is it positive or negative at the second quadrant? It is positive. Therefore, we remain it as positive. Okay. Let's try B. Cos 220 degree. Again, let's draw where the cos 220 degree located. So if from here to here, give 180 degree. While if here to here, we give us 270, but we want 220. Therefore, something over here. But bear in mind that we only want the acute angle. Therefore, we have to minus 220 degree minus with 180. It will give us 40. So cos 120 de degree is equivalent to cos 40 degree. But we have to check. What is the sign for cos at the third quadrant? It is negative. So this will be our final answer. Let's try C. Secant 155 degree. So secant is basically 1 over cos. 155 degree. Therefore, again, 155 is located at the third quadrant. Now, it is at the second quadrant. Okay, again, we want the acute angle. Therefore, 180 degree minus with 150 degree will give us 25. Therefore, this is equal to cos 25. But again, don't forget to check what is the sign for cos here at the second quadrant. It is negative. Therefore, we have to write as this. And last one, cosecant 260 degree. So cosecant 260 is equals to 1 over sine 260. So 260, where it is located? It's located somewhere here. So again, we want, again, we want the acute angle at the third quadrant. Therefore, we have to minus 260 degree minus 180 degree will give us 80. Before we can write down sine 260 can be written in acute angle sine AD. But please bear in mind that sine at the third quadrant is negative. Okay, we have done learning find, finding acute angle. Let's try this time if given to us negative angles, which is rotated clockwise direction. So sine negative 25, if we draw the angle, so it is from here to here, negative 25. Negative is just showing the direction, but the angle is 25 degrees. So it is an acute angle? Yes, it is an acute angle. 
So it is equals to sine 25. But sine at the fourth quadrant is negative. Okay? I'm sure you have understand after we have tried a few examples just now. You can try yourself. Okay, next sign, negative 128. Negative 128. If from here to here is negative 90, if from here to here is negative 180 degree, so we want negative 128. So it's somewhere here. Mm -hmm. 128 and we want the acute angle therefore one full sorry half rotation is 180 degree so minus 128 we will get the acute angle which is equals to 52 okay so we can write down sine negative 28 is equals to sine 52 but sine at the third quadrant is negative and c negative 163 again it's over here mm-hmm from here to here, 160 degree, the negative sign just to show it is uh, rotated in a clockwise direction. Eh? We want the acute angle here. Therefore, it is 180 degree minus 163 degree. They give us 17. Right? So, we can write down tangent negative 163 is equals to tangent 17 where tangent is at the third quadrant is positive okay clear okay therefore we have done a learning finding acute angle when given to us either the angle is positive or the angle is negative 